Right, look. Party conference, right? Let's party meeting. Let's let's the team team meeting, team building exercise, whatever you want to call it. Let's the next time I say, "Ooh, those things look interesting." Let's go and wake them up, or anything like that. Just tell me I'm out of my depth. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, you know, I'm going to understand. Oops, uh, sorry, sir. I accidentally shot you in the face. It, it happens. It's just part of being in my team. Hello there folks, welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. Ooh. We're in uh Greedfall. And apparently I can't do that. I can't go that way because it requires a higher level of sneak. We're pretty much, in case you were wondering, like exactly where we left off. So we can't go through there. Let's go down a little bit further and try the other route. See what it is that is down this passage way. So, you know, we were exploring last time, and as you can probably see, if you were watching last time, and you actually had the stomach to come back and watch me do more of this, <laughs> we're exactly where we left off. We might be about to get into serious bother here, but we're going to go see what's down here, because it seems all built up and stuff. Oh, no, I think these are probably friendly guys, maybe. Maybe they are? Yeah, are they? Maybe? Ooh. Halt! Entering this camp is strictly forbidden. Very well, soldiers. We're leaving. <laughs> um, sure. So I'm guessing that the way that we just tried up here, that's like a sneaky way into this camp. So yeah, it's a, it's a training camp. Uh, barracks but I don't know like what uniform or anything that you need to get into there or oh look there's a gloomy lair something in there there's a gloomy gloomy lair uh, so alright well let's carry on up this way and see what all these little question marks are up there so yeah obviously we've got to achieve some sort of level of sneak that enables us to sneak this way into the camp but what we'll need to go in there for I don't know but we can't go in. But that was very dramatic, wasn't it? Cutscenes specifically for that. <laughs> Hot! Entering this camp is strictly forbidden. Very well, soldier. We're leaving. And that's... That's all she wrote. Let's go past these. Dog, rhino, hedgehogs, and um, up this way. <gasps> A deer. I almost just, just, just shot it. I'm like, really? I can't kill everything. I'm pretty sure the deer is not going to attack me. Look. It was certainly fairly upset, that's for sure. Is that gloomy lair down there? I don't know if we want to go that way to the gloomy lair. Oh, look, a new... Is that a creature I've seen before? Is it one of the bear... Th oh, there's some sort of meeting going on. Selling these rhino bear things. Oh, no, that is one kind of creature, and those are the other kind. Oh, well, all right, then. Well... Let's leave them to it. They seem to have issues. Let's, um, uh, oh, that's a bomb a lot. I can't go in there. Yeah. Yeah, you see, this game has those sort of restrictions that aren't great. They don't endear me to a game, but many, many times. You know, I've made the mistake before, and as followers of this channel from early on will know, I made this mistake with Kingdom Come Deliverance, you know, thinking, oh, this game is shit. You know, I decided that quite... Oh, look, a new kind of creature to kill. Are they? They look like they're asleep, and they look like the kind of things that we shouldn't wake up if they're asleep. Oh, 
do you? Go across the bridge. Over the river. Oh, there's a camp. Camp area there. Wow. Those things are really comfortable around people. Or extraordinarily heavy sleepers. There we go, we can set up a camp. Right, let's leave it. I don't know, you know, if these camps sort of stay behind, I guess we should probably test that out at some point. And... Ooh, some sort of enemy encampment thing. Holy hell, fire. <gasps> comes our pay, boys. Oh, look. We're attacking one of those oh, things. Oh, dear. I think it might be time for us to leave. Let's, yeah, let's not... Probably shouldn't stick around. Wow. Making a fairly easy meal of these dudes. Is that it? They all dead? Yeah, we should probably leave now, boys and girls. Vasco! For God's sake! Ciara, come on! You should know better than to be sticking around here. Let's go this way instead. Past the sleepy thing. Oh no. Oh, we woke him up this. <gasps> oh, that is not good. Ow. Ouch. Oh no, this, is, this isn't good at all. Ow. Ow. Uh oh. We need to go. Time to go. We should probably take that 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 really major health potion, shouldn't we really? Ouch! Oh man! Oh, this is not good. Guys! Yeah, we should count our lucky stars they did not wake up the first time we went by, really, shouldn't we? Yeah, we're, we're not ready for that. <clears throat> right, look, party conference, right? Let's party meeting, let's, let's, the team, team meeting, team building exercise, whatever you want to call it, let's, the next time I say, ooh, those things look interesting, let's go and wake them up, or anything like that, just tell me I'm out of my depth, I don't know what I'm talking about, I, you know? I'm going to understand. Oops. Uh, sorry, sir. I accidentally shot you in the face. It, it happens. It's just part of being in my team. The Blacklands. To say you're a native of this country, you're not being very helpful. You've been awfully quiet back there. You could just sort of point things out and say, oh yes, this is one of those creatures. You probably don't want to tangle with that. It'll eat you up and spit you out. Guess we can't go any further that way at the moment. That's probably a good thing. Oh, we can. Sort of a bit. Look, everybody. 
is a deer. Some sort of winged bat creature thing. Okay. New creatures. Let's check them out. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Oh dear. Not sure I'm happy about these. Deer's legged it. Why can't I... So there's no like aiming reticle or anything like that. You you just have to... I'm pretty sure we're going to be in serious bother if we attack these things. I don't... So why am I still moving towards them, you might ask. And you'd be quite right to ask that question. Poison on my blade. Then let's go. I need healing. Well, you know, what do you want? Ah, I don't know. Run. Oh dear, that was not good. I'm not paying enough attention to my health. Right, keep an eye on your health bar this time, hey. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. Oh yeah, health dropping, health dropping, really fast. I'm wounded. I need help. Be careful, you're wounded. Close to it, sir. If necessary. I'm wounded. I need help. I need healing. Ow. That's the only one. Ouch. No, no. I'm going to die. Oh, no. Right, I'm starting to think that I've pretty much firmly established <clears throat> that I can't kill those things and probably shouldn't try to. So let's let's, let's go back a bit, shall we? So, you know, I mean, we've got another point on the fast travel -y map thing. We should be proud of ourselves. <laughs> we've ventured out with no skill whatsoever. Take a look at the map. Ooh. The island of Tear for a D. Hikmet San Mateus Nusserine. Oh, that way too serene. So that's where we came from. That's New Serene. Yikes! Some vicious paintings. It's a it's another beautiful world map. I'll give them that. I do like these really intricately drawn, really beautiful sort of world maps when you find them. I think they're great. I saw a thing online today. It was talking about beautiful maps. And Kingdom Come Deliverance on there, and, and and Sea of Thieves, as as well as other things. You know, The Witcher. And... Right, get off! Get off! Get off! Talk to the coin guard barracks quartermaster in New Serene. Offer your help to Vasco. Ask Intendant Manfred for more information. Meet the Bridge Alliance governor and ask about the Malachor. Okay, well let's let's see about travelling back to um, New Serene then. To the to my house, shall we? To the Desade residence. Hello, Desade residence. So, what are we doing here? We're going to the coin guard barracks. Okay. 
Go and speak to Bladnit, Queen of the Geistrad, something or other. Was that about that merchant guy? I can't remember now. No, I've gone the wrong way anyway. But we should be able to. What? I need a bit of practice. To get across a plat. Okay. Don't go up there. There's a apparently very precarious looking plank that I don't have sufficient balance skill to walk across. I'll be the judge of that. Dragon blood resin. Health potions seem to be a dime a dozen in this game, I've noticed. You can't go ten feet without tripping over a health potion. Which is good, because as we've seen, I thought there was another one. As we've seen, I uh, I apparently need them. Right, let's go in here and speak to the coin guard barrack person. What a master here, Manfred. What can I do for you? Um uh, good. We've shit, come to right. find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the Minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? Okay. Have you made it clear to him what no, it is? Thank you. Have you talked to this islander and made it clear what it is that he needs? Or have you just gone up to him and confiscated his stuff? <sighs> oh, this... Uh, go and speak to Bladent, Queen of Geisrad, yes. Locate and mark merchandise crates. Offer your help to Vasco. Obtain a patent. E. Okay, Vasco. All right, mate. Desarde. I've always hoped to one day find out my biological family name, but I cannot go to the harbor office in person to see my file. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Yes. Go for it. Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any noughts to be hurt in the process. What? Despite my desire to know my origins, the noughts are still my family. Well, you should have told me that before I we'll agreed be discreet. to Because that's not cool. So, what? I can only take one person. I don't really understand. So, yeah, for this mission then, Vasco's locked in. Okay. My ship's being used to move your contraband. 
And now you want to sneak into one of our warehouses. Kurt was given the order. If we want to help him, we don't have a choice. I don't like this. But, since I've been sacked, let's just say that this will be a little bit of revenge. How do we know in which of these buildings to find what we are looking for? I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. That won't be necessary. My entire cargo has been placed in the warehouse closest to my ship. Okay. Let's go then. Come along, guys. Let's see, square. Yes, we do want to go down that way. That's the warehouse. What about getting that thing for that? Well, let's just help Vasco. No, that's not the th that's not the way to help Vasco, though, is it? That's not what I want to do. Let's obtain a patent. Ah! God damn these controls! Bloody awful! I suppose if I zoom in a bit. Merchandise crates. Locate and mark the merchandise crates. But how do I help Vasco? Then? Was there not? I thought that would mark on the map because that there is for that merchant, right? Oh, bloody hell. Codex. Algs and Vilegs. <clears throat> Brown Alg. Discovered on the island, these creatures look like bears and are sometimes found on the old continent, but have heavy defences that make them all the more formidable. Very aggressive, they live in packs most of the time and often roam the forest, although they mostly live in caves. A black Alg. More robust than the brown Alg. The black Alg is also more aggressive and its thick coat makes it surprisingly resistant to magic but rather vulnerable to elemental damage. That doesn't make any sense. But neither does magic, so... Uh, Vileg. If Algs look like bears, the Vilegs are like wolves from the old continent, although they are far bigger. Yes, I've come across those. They are able to absorb the blood of their victims with each bite, thus regaining health when they attack. Oh dear. A Dantrig. This strange creature called Dandrig by the natives does not look like anything known on the continent. It sort of looks like a hedgehog crossed with a shark. A bit. It has a very shark like face. Uh, anyway, it inflicts painful bites and is able to enter a destructive rage. Its slimy skin effectively protects it from physical and magical damage. And the unknown creature. I guess it maybe didn't record those other things I came across because I died. Borage, right, pine resin, dragon blood. Right, okay, I can look at all these things at a later time. But what I want to know is what I don't. What about the mission for Vasco? We have a mission for him to do. Come closer, good people. The cure and uh, yep. You'll find all you need in our... the harbor master's office. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbour office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There yeah. must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognise you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. 
A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dieter. Acquire sleeping pills. <laughs> I had this problem with one of the other missions so far. There's not a massive amount of variety in this, but let's see. So, no, but what I want to know is how to help Fella Milad, because... See, we go there to obtain a patent. But I don't really know how... Uh, Admiral Cabral. The hell is that? Maybe that's Admiral Cabral there. Hello, Admiral. Good day, my lord. Desarde. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral, and I see that you're accompanied by one of our own. Hardy winds, Vasco. Hardy winds, Admiral. You are still angry with me for keeping you ashore, are you not? You'll one day thank me for it, but I don't suppose you've come to talk to me about affectations. What can I do for you? <laughs> what can I do for you? Leave. I need to be going. Until we meet again. Admiral. Okay, so no options with anything to do with the Admiral. And, you know, we've got to obtain sleeping pills somehow and uh, get back to that. But... Unfortunately, I hate to do this to you folks, but I, we won't be doing this today because I've just looked at how long we've been recording for with a little bit of exploration and stuff. So we won't be doing this today. So yeah, these first couple of episodes, I apologize they haven't been particularly interesting, but firstly, um, I am so exhausted I'm pretty much falling asleep where I am, so I'm going to have to call it there anyway. And secondly, you know, it's early on still in this game. We've only just made it to tier 3D. I don't really... I haven't had the time because of the time my time constraints this week with visits and all sorts of other problems that i've got going on at the moment have meant that i haven't had time to explore the game outside of the time i'm spending recording it but i will do hopefully before the next episodes i'll explore and do some of the main missions so that i get a better idea and i know where i'm going and then maybe they'll be a little bit more interesting than the last two have been for goodness sake I feel like a fool <laughs> but anyway <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at Knights underscore Arcade if you feel up to the Twitter challenge. You know, whatever that is. But uh, if you have no interest in Twitter at all and uh, you're only interested in YouTube, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and ring the notification bell and you should get a notification every time I post new content. But until next time, from Knights Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty-night. <laughs>